world, it's Kaylee, and I'm back for some more book reviews. This one is going to be for an ebook that I read recently. This one is Heckless Children by James Brogdon. This is an adult horror fantasy ish novel that came out very recently. It was released on March 7th, and it was pretty good. This one, I've been, I've had my eye on it for a while, for like months and months since I heard that it was going to be released, and then Finally, it was released, so I decided to go ahead and get it for Kindle. And the little tagline thing is, four children disappeared, only one returned. In this story, you follow a teacher named Nathan. Nathan is like an outdoorsy type person, but while he's teaching, he takes this group of teenagers into the woods, and he's supposed to be following them through the woods and teaching them all about like hiking and making sure that they're navigating the area and making their way to this end point. I'm not sure where, I don't really remember where the end point is, but he, that's his job is to make sure that he's following them. There's another teacher that he is somewhat involved with but shouldn't be involved with so of course he gets distracted and walks away from the kids and figures hey I can see where they'll be walking up from this vantage point where I'm sitting with this teacher that I shouldn't be with right now. So he walks away from the kids, is just hanging out and expects them to come around the corner. Of course they don't <laughs> and all of the kids go missing and now there are four students missing. There's a huge backlash because he was supposed to be watching them and now they're gone. There's a bunch of searches. Everyone is looking for these kids. Nothing happens. No one can find them. And then the next day, one of the students shows up in the middle of the woods. Her name's Olivia and she is just completely in shock, completely terrified, and is not saying anything about what happened. Now, a decade later, you're still following Nathan, only now he is kind of forced to relive what happened, is still working in the same position, but he is um, obviously working with different co-workers, and as he's going through the same trail, going through the same area, he starts to have flashbacks of what occurred back then. Along with following Nathan's character, you also follow Olivia, or Liv as they call her, you follow her character a little bit as you kind of try to unravel what happened to her 10 years ago when her and that group of kids that she was with went missing. You also follow this third character and she's brought in to identify these bones that were uncovered in an area not too far from where the kids went missing. She needs to figure out, do these bones belong to any of the kids that went missing or are they totally unrelated? As she's looking at the bones, she realizes that they actually belong to like a Bronze Age warrior thing, <laughs> along with some other pieces of stuff thrown in there. Now the bones have something to do with why Liv went missing and with the stuff that Nathan is now experiencing, the flashbacks, and all of their storylines just mix together and you find out what happened to the kids. 10 years ago and what might be happening again and just a whole bunch of crazy stuff keeps on happening for the rest of the story. Overall I'd say that I really enjoyed it. I thought that the build up for from the beginning until the point when the kids go missing was really creepy. I really enjoyed the atmosphere that that created but from then on it just kind of fell a little short for me. I felt like trying to lump in all of these different like weird mythological thingies and the name Heckless Children has something to do with part of that but that part didn't really feel like it got flushed out. It felt like just this one little piece in a tiny paragraph and then never talked about again. I mean I enjoyed it but it just didn't blow me away like I was hoping that it would so overall I ended up giving it a three and a half out of five because it was a decent story. It had some creepy parts but it didn't wow me basically. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have read this one and what you thought of it. Thanks for watching. Bye!